Hello, so today we're going to have a look at anodes and uh, what is this horrendous thing of fitting under my boat? Well, this is an anode and it looks awful because it is, but it's been doing its job. Now, this is the version that's been in the water for a while. This is the new version. So basically we bolt the new version onto the boat and I'll explain a little bit more that, about that in a moment. And over time, it should look like this if it's doing its job. Now, why would it do that job? Well, on our boats, we may have metal underwater and generally on boats this will be bronze like uh, like uh, what lots of propellers are made of or it could be dzr brass which is what a lot of the underwater fittings are made of although you can't see the brass here that's covered in growth and paint as is this one here ready to be cleaned off now we don't want that to corrode now bronze is uh, an alloy of copper tin and a little bit of zinc and diesel or brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. Now, zinc is the weaker metal, so that will corrode away. So if we've got zinc corroding away from our propeller or zinc corroding away from our skin fittings, that means that we will be leaving behind a higher copper content. Copper's soft and effectively we've lost the strength, which would be a disaster in any underwater fittings. We could shear off skin fittings, our prop blades could, could uh, come off or uh, maybe the prop could disappear completely so what we do is we attach a lump of uh, zinc to the bottom of the boat so we buy a nice uh, uh, anode sometimes called sacrificial anode and this is bolted to the hull but as you can see insulated from and uh, this effectively draws all the corrosion towards it and this will corrode away or should corrode away instead of your underwater fitting so it's really important to make sure that you've got one fitted at least one and uh, we recommend that every time you get your boat out of the water, you change one, or if you have more, some boats have more, steel boats tend to have more, uh, or change them. And uh, some people will put their boat back in the water saying, well, it's not completely gone, so uh, we'll just uh, put it back in the water with the old anode, but that's not the best advice. If more than 20% of this is gone, make sure you change it. Uh, grease up these uh, bolts here, make sure that uh, they, uh, the, the nuts are so tight, tight sorry the nuts can run them down with no problem at all and this isn't going to corrode make sure you've got a lock nut or a tab washer there to make sure these don't undo over time and make sure really really importantly when you're tightening these up don't over tighten them because if this stud starts to turn then that means it will have to be taken out of the hull and uh, everything has to be redone and resealed so that's a little bit about anodes oh the other thing to mention is as well or to pick the new one up the correct way around to fit the anode is fat end first. You see so many people fitting that way, actually the correct way is to do it that way. So uh, hopefully you've learned a little bit there and uh, hopefully we'll get you changing your energy really regularly. Thanks for watching.